For what purpose does the gentleman from, from Orange, Representative Meyer, arise? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would like to speak to the bill. You have the floor to speak on the bill. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the public, I would like to argue that this bill is faulty from the very first word in its title. The title claims that this bill is bipartisan when we know, in fact, that no Democrat has been consulted in the creation of this bill at any point in time, misleading the public, done by a party that has worked for years to pick their own voters through gerrymandering, through discriminatory voting restrictions that have been called restrictive on African-American votes with surgical precision by our state's courts. Mr. Speaker. For what purpose does the gentleman from Craven arise? Are we speaking on the bill or are we going off on a tangent here? If you would, debate the bill if it's possible so that we can go home. Mr. Speaker, this is an elections bill and with respect to Representative Speciale, my comments are in the context of our state's elections and I will continue to speak to the bill. Thank you. The majority party has used their power in the legislature and through the State Board of <coughs> Elections to override the will of voters again and again since they have been in control. They have redistricted Wake County and Guilford County as retribution for votes there that they did not like. In this bill, in the bill we passed yesterday, they are overriding the will of the voters of the entire state of North Carolina who voted for Democrat Roy Cooper in this November's elections. If I could interrupt you, Representative Meyer, you are not debating the bill at this point. If you would stick to the bill, I think that's what is germane. I don't think it has anything to do with voters at this point. It's simply what we are doing here today in respect to this bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This bill, once again, changes the process of elections in the state of North Carolina. It is done so, is doing so without deliberation from the entire state, without proper time to examine what its contents are. It is done so in a blatant political move by a party that must be afraid of the voters so they have to hold on to the power that they have through these dramatic means. Democrats and independents in North Carolina, you need to know that the majority party has ensured that this week you have no voice in Raleigh. That they are attacking our elections with this bill, and even in the face of that, our path to fight back is through elections this year, 2017, this coming year. I know that my speech will not change any mind in this chamber today. I understand that it will make many mad. But the people need to know that free and fair elections still have a place in this state, and some of us will continue to fight for such. I will vote against this bill. For what purpose is the gentleman from Rockingham represent? <laughs> the gallery is welcome to hear.